Hi there. So in this video, we're going to take a look at list in C Sharp. So first thing, create one C Sharp console project in your Visual Studio. Now, I want you to add declaration for using system collection and collections generic. Once you do that, we are going to write our first list inside study void main method. Now, we can create integer, double or string list and we can add element inside it. To write our list, we will first create list and then within these greater or less than sign, we are going to simply declare what type of list this will be. Let's start with integer and then I will use keyword LT equals to new and then list integer. Okay, now inside here, we just declare our list after that we can use lt and then we can use keyword add and within that method we are simply going to add our integer element similarly we can add more okay so let's start with a few more so let's say four and then five Okay, so we have total four elements within our list. Okay, now to iterate through these set of values, we will make use of for each loop and then say I have this integer value in LT and then I'm going to use console dot right line and then output the value. Okay. Now, if you run this program, then we will find that it will output this two, three, four, five value out of the list. Okay, so let's start. As you can see, it will be first in, first out in our list, starting from zeroth index to up to this fourth value. Okay, this was integer list. Similarly, you can also create string list as well. So string and replace here too. So we have our string list. So ins instead of this integer value, let's add lt dot add. And here I'm going to use abc. Let's also replace this. Okay, so pbc then cbc and then dbc now in for each loop let's replace integer with string and rest of the program will remain as is now it will also do index the best output iteration using for each so starting from abc to dbc it will output that on console so let's start and as you can see on console, we have values ABC, BBC, CBC, and DBC. Okay, so you get the idea of how to create a list, be it a string, integer, or even double, and how to use add method to add an, an element within your list, be it a string, or integer, or even double. Then you can use for each loop to iterate through that list you can also use for loop if you want because list allows you to iterate through the indexed value of that element okay so this was a short introduction to list in c sharp collections